Hi guys, welcome back to Tommy Joyce Donet. Bit of a clue of what we're looking at today on the screen in front of you there. This morning I've installed Cyanogen Mod 9 on my Galaxy S3. I thought I'd give you a quick, uh, just a quick show of it. I mean, hopefully you guys all know what Cyanogen Mod is by now, so I don't need to show you everything. There's a uh, we see instantly a few of the, the differences. Obviously you get the regular lock screen, regular Android lock screen. We're going to go with Nova Launcher at the moment. That's one of the wallpapers you get with it. You get, you get a selection of some nice wallpapers. Um, so this is all set up as I normally would have it set up with my usual widgets and such using Nova Launcher. Um, I'm just going to briefly show you some of the differences you'll notice. This, this is sort of um, stock, so to speak, so Android, it's not themed in any way. But you're able to turn on a battery percentage, a, a clock with um, AM or PM showing in the corner. Um, one of the settings you get is for the notification bar. And if you can read that there, it's got a little number 8 over the top of, there we go, of the email icon. So there's four new messages, but there's eight emails in total. So eight's what shows on the... Let's have a quick look in settings where we'll mainly see the, uh, the differences. Nothing different in there. Here we get the uh, in, under the interface. You'll notice some different bits and pieces. So launcher. That basically just takes me to Nova settings. Oops, it didn't. Do want to come all the way out? Lock screen. So we get to uh, we get to change in there the background wallpaper. We get to change what. Uh, what type of lock it is. Now I particularly like this as well, delay screen lock. So if the screen times out it waits 15 seconds before it locks. If I've turned the phone off it waits 30 seconds. You can change that so you could have if the screen times out there's a there's a delay and if you lock it no that's when I want it to lock instantly sort of thing. Um, so I turn it off now. We wait a little while. Turn it back on and it's not locked. Um, you get to set to have weather on the uh, the lock screen, some own information, calendar. Then also you get to change what apps you can use to unlock. So if I go up, let's change that to uh, Gmail. Oh, sorry, we're in the you know, applications. Come on. So I save that, and now when I when I come to unlock, I can go straight into Gmail. Um, then we also get themes. Now these you have to install separately. It's APKs. I found quite a lot on uh, um, XDA developers. So for example, one of them here, Green Infinitium. I'm going to apply that. It gives me an error, but you say, uh, yeah, go ahead and apply anyway. There we go. Everything's turned green. My toggles are green. Although the email read count, or email count, has gone grey, which is whatever. That's fine. That's how it is in there. But everything now has a green tint to it. And obviously there's reds. There's, I mean, I've got a blue one there as well but it's actually not quite as nice as the regular. So let's go back to system. So there were, I mean, literally probably 30 or 40 I found in one particular thread, all the different themes you can install as APKs, but then appear in the theme picker. Um, then we get system, so the status bar along the top, that's where you can show and hide the clock, you can change the style of it. Battery status style. Signal status style, so you can actually have it as, um, oh, interesting. I just broke the... <laughs> oh, it's back though. So it gives it you a certain um, a, a numeric value rather than... Let's change it by though. don't know why my Wi-Fi has vanished totally. Maybe I'll come back. Anyway. Um, brightness control, so you can do the old slide the thermal along the top to dim and to brighten. Show notification count, so that's where it's got the little numbered icon in the 
in the icon itself. Notification draw, hide on change, hide indicator, hide the button. So this is all stuff that you will probably have seen before if you already use Sanger Mod. Um, you can select which buttons show. I don't have that many, I just have the five there. So Wi Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, sound, and the torch. So the torch, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera. Kind of handy having that in the notification bar. Um, you can then change the order of the buttons. Put GPS over on the right hand side, GPS in the middle. So, I mean, this is all fairly standard stuff that you've probably already seen. There's nothing new. Um, the, oh, let's change the wallpaper back. So, wallpapers, side your mod wallpapers. I quite like this one as well, that's quite nice. Um, it all seems relatively bug free. The, there are some reports of some issues with the camera, but it seems to work. Or if we go into video, so it all seems to be functional. Um, I've seen some people have had issues with Wi Fi not working. I mean, my head, I've happened to. To it right there. If you hold down on the thing, it takes you straight to. So that's quite nice. Yeah, I mean, it says it's fully connected. Um, so that's it, really. Like I say, it's just a bit of a quick look around. There's nothing particularly brand new, but just the fact that it's now working quite nicely on the S3. The, I mean, these are nightly slash experimental builds. I'm on the experimental at the minute from uh, first of July build, um, but it looks to me to be good enough to. To, to work as a daily. Um, I will stick in the comments, I've only been using it for a few hours, I will stick in the comments if I come across any bugs or anything that don't work. Do check, so when you go to the STA developers to, to get it, there is a link showing you the sort of known issues, um, and just always have a look through the thread. They, they are very sort of uh, precautionary, saying, you know, do read all this, make sure you understand what you're doing, which to me, I, can't, I would agree with. Don't be using Cyanogen Mod and Flash in these experimental builds if you're not really too sure, um, or if you're not prepared that things might go wrong basically so make sure we have a, an android backup all the time as well but uh, yeah i mean it seems pretty good actually it's, it's very lightweight compared to proper rom well say proper roms samsung based roms which are sort of over 650 meg this was 144 meg cyanogen mod um, that's how trimmed down they are and it does seem very slick and very fast anyway there you go so that's cyanogen mod 9 running on the samsung galaxy s3 international version I-9300. My name's Andy. How many joys done it?